Do you have people in your life that just get you? You know that every time you see them, they might make you laugh, they're definitely gonna be an encouragement to you, and they certainly aren't gonna bring on extra stress. They're your crew. They might be your friends, their family members, but they just know how to lift up your spirits. Well, I love those people in my life. I look for ways to show them how much I appreciate them, whether it's just words of encouragement or support uh, in a text, whether it's showing up when they just need some help, whether it's uh, surprising them maybe with their favorite coffee. I just look for ways to show those people love, right? And I think that's true for all of us. We love to show those that love us that we care. Well, I was reading today in the book of Luke, starting in chapter 6, verse 32, uh, Jesus' words on this very topic. Let's check it out. He says, If you love only those who love you, why should you get credit for that? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good only to those who do good to you, why should you get credit? Even sinners do that much. Well, that really sat with me today because how true is that? We all just like to love those who love us and we actually feel good about it too. Like we almost wanna take the credit. Like, man, I did a great thing for my buddy today. Like, that's awesome. I'm proud of myself, good job, right? It's just easy for us. But Jesus says like, no, 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 you know, don't take credit for that. Everyone does that. Even people that are completely turned away from, from the idea of Jesus and God, right? Like don't set yourself up on any sort of pedestal. He actually calls us to love those who are actively against us, our enemies, the people that frustrate us, that push our buttons. And I don't know about you, but in a time like this, like that stuff is ramping up even more. Tensions are high, things are frustrating, like people are navigating financial pressures, time pressures, and everything is just boiling up. So there's probably people that are actively against you right now, right? You might have some enemies. You might just be clashing with those people around you, but people are causing you frustration. Well, friends, this might be an opportunity more so than ever to jump into this scripture and really take a hold of it and try to apply it into our lives. Let's love people that don't show us love more than we normally do. And the encouraging part about this is you don't have to come up with that on your own. You know, the Spirit of God can fill you up and give you what the Bible says, like His Spirit will give you peace, patience, self-control, kindness. These are the things that we need to show to our enemies or those that are antagonizing us, right? So leaning on God's scripture, praying for him to fill you up with those things, like you're going to be ready to show love to all. So my prayer today is that God lays on each of us just one person's name. Who might you be able to show love to that you don't normally? Is it someone who just bothers you? Is it someone who completely betrayed you and you're having trouble forgiving them for that? That's funny, just a few verses later, just in uh, verse 37, Jesus says, Don't judge others and you will not be judged. Do not condemn others or it all come back against you. Forgive others and you will be forgiven. So these are great words for us today. You know, the world is just needing people to step up and be a light. And it's not for ourselves, it's so that we can reflect that through God's work in us, we can be people that love even the difficult. So that's my prayer for you today. I hope that you can take that, think of one person, and show them some love, even the people that are difficult. Well, thanks for tuning in to these daily devotionals. It's been awesome. It's a fun time for us to come together as a church, and we'll look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow.